Saw dudes in our last video on Mary's scam, we covered how there's high value people trying to do the right thing and get the victims of this scam their money back. Sure, do that. We don't care because we know we don't do anything wrong and we are here at the hospital. We have a lot of evidence that Mary have colon problem. You stated clearly you were diagnosed with colon cancer, not experiencing colon cancer problems. That is a major difference. It is very much a crime. I hope you are not speaking for Brandon, Mary, because the felony will be on him. It's called wire fraud. Nope, not a crime when you ask help for medical purposes. Just do it. And we have evidence here, and the fact that we are here at the hospital, that's the evidence. You don't know what we've been through, but it's okay. God knows. God bless you. It is a crime. You lied about having cancer. That's an egregious lie, and even People Magazine are reporting about you being a scammer. Mary, you never recover from such a lie and truly face your karma. Your grandparents must feel such shame. I already contacted Brandon's mom, and I know she does. They don't. We are happy family. I guess you don't have that happy family. That's why you are bitter and Karen. The unnamed hero responded a happy line scamming family, I guess. Get psychiatric help, please, for your daughter. You have a serious personality disorder and it's scary. You can change your life around with some effort and possibly medications, but it is possible. I guess you need that. I feel sorry for you. God bless you. I hope they will help you. Hero says, and I mean that genuinely and as kindly as I can. Feel better, get psychiatric help. Hero responded, no, but I do have a master's in neuropsychology and I have seen therapy change people's lives. People like you, Mary. Aw, uh, get help. I feel sorry, I think no one loves you and that's why you are Karen. Feel better, okay? God bless you. As y'all are aware, Mary from that show, 90 Day Fiance, fate that she had colon cancer and set up a donation page to receive donations from her audience. Turns out she lied about the entire thing. It was a scam. And the unnamed hero that we did commentary on our last video was trying to get everyone's money back. However, Mary posted this on Instagram claiming that she already spent the money that fans donated to her. It's not only immoral and wicked, but also these people donated because they thought you had colon cancer and you lied about that. And instead of giving everyone their money back to try and not only look out for yourself, but look out for your family because your entire reputation is tarnished. And it's to the point where the fans of the show are turning into CIA agents. They are researching you, not actual CIA agents, but you know what I mean? Like there's a lot of threads being posted and a lot of things are coming to light, especially with her relationship and Brandon, because it turns out that she was talking to other dudes at the same time that she was talking to Brandon. Recently, Mary took to Instagram to say, I know I made a mistake and raised a GoFundMe without thinking. Crying emoji, I'm very sorry everyone. I really thought it was colon cancer when he said I have colon issue. That's the truth. Also, my English is not that good and perfect. But before that, I just want to say that our YouTube channel is gone and we don't know why because we can't access it anymore. So we made that new youtube channel and this is our new youtube channel when he said i have colon issue that's the truth no one questioned that you went to the doctor's office and they said you could potentially have an issue with your colon and then you went home and self-diagnosed. The problem is that you lie. Then for the past couple days, you've not only shamed victims, but also the people that are fighting to get the victims their money back. But the money you sent me on GoFundMe, I used it in my hospital bills, crying emoji. I know it's not colon cancer yet, but I have colon issue, the doctor said. I still need to go back after one week to the hospital. I'm sorry I made a mistake and I learned from it. Please, I'm begging you to stop sending me death threats and wish me to die. I'm still in pain and that's the truth. I'm crying every day with regrets, crying emoji. First and foremost, I highly doubt that anyone is sending this girl death threats. So far, everything that I've seen has been fair criticism and people just asking her to refund the money and stop scamming people, which is the truth. The problem with Mary is that right now she's trying to place herself in the victim position. But the money you sent me on GoFundMe, I used in my hospital bills. Once again, it was a go get fund page. It wasn't GoFundMe, completely different company. So let me get this straight, Mary. You spent $1,300 in two days and you want to try and convince everybody that you didn't buy a new iPhone. You spent that at the doctor's office. On our first video we put out about this Brandon and Mary scam situation, I received a comment from one of our subscribers named Queen Izzy who is from the Philippines. So let's read this together as a family just to get more information about how the healthcare works over there. Your Witsock, the info on Google about healthcare being free in the Philippines is misleading. I grew up in the Philippines and spent half my adult life there. PhilHealth is the government subsidized health insurance that is provided for employees of companies. 
A majority of workers in the Philippines aren't covered due to their source of income being from small businesses or day labor. You can't afford to go to doctor unless you feel like you're on death's door. And when you do get confined, the bills are astronomical. You are not allowed to go home unless you paid your bill, which would usually involve your family lending you money or selling assets. I get where Mary is coming from though she shouldn't have categorized her condition. She wouldn't have gotten in trouble if only she'd been upfront and transparent. Okay, so right away, thank you so much for taking the time to inform me and inform our community about how things work over there. We may have jumped the gun, but that also is kind of Google's fault, right? Because there should be more information about that, but it wouldn't be the first time that you Google search something and it's somewhat misleading. My next question would be, do y'all believe that the bill that Mary received was $1,300? I highly doubt that, that all the money went to medical expenses. Do you think the bill would be three months the average wage plus in the Philippines? I Googled how much does a doctor visit cost in the Philippines and what popped up was, the cost of a doctor's consultation in the Philippines can range from around 300 Philippine pesos to 1,000 Philippine pesos or more, depending on the specialization and reputation of the physician. A thousand Philippine pesos is roughly $18 USD. So do I believe that she spent $1,300 on the medical bills? No. Mary's trying to brush it off and say, I'm sorry for lying to everyone. You're not sorry, girl, because if you were sorry, you would give everyone their money back. You screwed your fans out of money. Y'all already were making an expansion on the house. You're adding more rooms. You're adding more square footage. You didn't set up a GoFundMe for that. We already know that you're making good money off the internet, off your multiple platforms that you have. Thanks for going on the show 90 Day Fiance. So instead of being ethical and issuing a refund to the very people that support you and supported you when you claim to be on death's door, you instead choose to fuck them out of money? Nah. Then you got the biggest dork of all time, White Knight Brandon, making stories on Instagram trying to inform us all on Bobby's health condition. No one cares about Bobby's health, man. She lied about having colon cancer and fucked everybody out of money. So no one cares about life updates with Bobby if she shit in a cup or not. Check out this video and let me know what you think after the video is done playing. Uh, white blood cell count or WD. WBC is uh, 18, and the average is 11, 11. Um, and her poop test came out as normal, but I think it's just because she took a laxative. She was supposed to poop in the cup last night, but she couldn't, so she took a laxative. And then this morning, it took effect, and she, you know, cleared out her whole system. And so there wasn't really, like, any normal bowel movement to give accurate results in her poop test so she's gonna have to do another one of those next week when we come back um, she's got her little prescription here so full of uh, antibiotics and then later on probiotics um, yeah we'll keep you guys updated sorry we can't take vlogs inside of the hospital because they don't allow because they're scared that people are gonna shame them or uh, give them a bad rap or something like that. I don't know. If you don't believe me, look it up. It is a real thing. That is a law in the Philippines. You're not allowed to record or take pictures inside of hospitals. So the best thing we can do is just show you the outside. Okay. HMO, and this is her prescriptions. Let me see that again. I, I, I didn't get a good look at that. Okay. Yeah. Um, yeah, we're gonna go, we're gonna get her medicine and then we're gonna come back next week, do more testing, blood tests, urine analysis, poop test, another ultrasound, and possibly a colonoscopy if she's still experiencing uh, bleeding in the stools or throwing up or abdominal pain. Hey guys, it's White Knight Brandon here. Bobby wanted me to come on here because no one wants to talk to her right now. Y'all hate her, so she thought I would come up here and smooth things over. Just wanna let you guys know that she shit in a cup today, so that's good news. And she actually doesn't have colon cancer, so whoopsies, lying about that and fucking people out of money. 
you know. But the good news is I'm going to be here to keep you updated about Bobby's health. Mary is the girl that cried wolf, plain and simple. And the sad news is that you're a mother, Mary. You have a child. So if there is an actual situation of crisis, no one's going to believe you now because you've ruined your reputation. And by extension, you ruined Brandon's reputation because he's an accomplice. And I say that, but I have no doubt in my mind that there's still a large percentage of fans that feel sympathy for Brandon because you're just that awful of a human being, Mary. So there's always going to be people that feel bad for White Knight Brandon, but he is incredibly weak and for him to participate in this scam just tells us everything we need to know about his character as well. As I mentioned earlier, this is an ongoing situation. I'm going to make a longer video about the situation tomorrow because today I have to run a lot of errands. I apologize. Let me know what you think about their claims that the entire amount $1,300 went towards the medical bills. I find that to be an obvious lie. I'm sure that y'all do too because the math isn't math. Today's video, I am going to be doing a bit of a workout. Since coming to the Philippines, I have become extremely out of shape. Oh no, Bobby, the 90 day fans are onto us. They're smarter than we originally anticipated. I wake up, eat breakfast, and then I attempt to clear my head, usually just relaxing on the phone, playing video games or something like that. Mm -hmm. 